Uh, my name is Toye. My name is Joe. Uh, we do lead generation for used car dealerships, Facebook marketing. Uh, I think we were just kind of at a crossroads of should we be doing the sales ourselves? Should we hire some magic, you know, seven figure closer to come on board and just crush it with everything? And we saw kind of some pitfalls with other people hiring sales reps where, you know, they would bring someone on board and then 90 days passed and they still really don't have their uh, a quality sales rep to, to help them, uh, you know, with all their prospects. And we just didn't really want to make that mistake. We, we knew the value or we saw the value in kind of, you know, preserving that time and, and focusing it on, you know, bigger and better things. So that's why we uh, brought Mike Mark in. We understood that he knew exactly what he was doing. He's, he's done this for, you know, 15 other companies. And we knew that we were a good fit for him to kind of help us as well. So uh, he kind of just caught us at the right time, right place. And, you know, it was kind of a good fit from the jump. So ever since then, we kind of have really leaned on him to help us with, uh, you know, hiring proven sales reps. And just to kind of add to that, we had kind of hit a bottleneck in our business where we've always kind of been in that 20 to 30K range a little too long and knew something was wrong there. Um, and I think a lot of it tied to the fact that we were doing tasks that we didn't, we shouldn't have been doing and it was time to delegate. Um, so kind of the scramble um, and realizing that our cash reserves uh, could kind of, was something that we needed to leverage at this point, uh, kind of allowed us to take a step back and see what we needed to do. And hiring sales is kind of the priority right now. So he's one of the best doing it, so we come, we're coming to him for it. I would say one <laughs> of the biggest concerns for me was just wasting time hiring a rep and thinking that, you know, on their disc assessment, they're this great person, and they probably are. Maybe they're a great fit for another company, but for some odd reason, maybe it just didn't end up working with us, and then, we're, you know, we're 90 days into the future, you know, 120 days into the future, and we still don't have that rep. We're still on the phones. It's sucking up all of our time, and yeah, our calendar is booked full, but we're still kind of having to put that time in to actually convert that business. And like Toya said, I mean, we kind of really had that bottleneck uh, on the conversion side of things. You know, we got the leads, we were able to nurture them, but when it came to conversion, that's really where we kind of were experiencing that, that bottleneck, so. And I think also just being willing to let go of functions as well. Um, understanding that you're gonna have to at some point delegate it, whether someone's not gonna be as good as you or they might be better than you, but getting accustomed to uh, hiring more so than being the practitioner yourself um, is a transition that we're having to make now. So um, just understand that we have to embrace that discomfort uh, in order to move to the next to the next level of possibility in our business. For me, my biggest insight was understanding how to build a culture, manufacturing a good culture that people want to be a part of, that people want to feel like they're contributing towards. Um, I really coming into this, I had no idea what a meeting cadence was. I had no idea why you needed to have a daily meeting or a weekly meeting or a monthly meeting or quarterly and what that really did uh, you know, for the business at, at a whole. So um, that was really my, the, the light bulb that w went off for me. Um, I'd say um, as executives in a business, under understanding where you need to focus your energy um, in terms of your daily tasks, in terms of what you should be focused on doing. Again, like I said before, fo focusing on tasks that are gonna generate seven figure, seven figures for your company, rather than low level tasks that can be delegated. Um, and then also just uh, habit. Um, again, instilling that culture in your team, as well as uh, setting the tone in terms of what your culture is going to be like um, and just making sure that everyone in, on your team is comfortable, kind of making sure you have that fortress where people feel comfort, uh, they feel trusted, um, and that way uh, performance improves overall across the board. I would say you probably don't even understand the value unless you really went through trying to hire a rep, wasting that time on hiring a rep, and then seeing where you're at in business when you know where you should actually be if you had a qualified closer, or, you know, a rep that ha actually has to their name, uh, you know, has closed seven figures of commissions to their name. So um, if you don't want to make that mistake, if you don't want to waste time, if you're kind of on the fence and still kind of exploring options, I would say definitely talk to Mike. Um, he has a very different style than most sales coaches, which is kind of what I gravitated towards. Uh, so yeah, definitely check him out. Yeah, I'd say if, if you're thinking of hiring a salesperson, um, you can save yourself a lot of time and resources. Um, you know, if, you, if you're in a position to do so by hiring Mike Mark, um, like I said, I mean, essentially 
we're, we're in a game where you have to be able to uh, leverage either your time or your money. And if you have the resources to invest, um, there, there's a saying that says a stitch in time saves nine. So by leaning on someone else's expertise and kind of focusing on your business, um, you'll really save yourself a lot of time. Um, and I highly recommend, you know, leveraging, you know, what he's built for himself because he's truly taken the time to learn the space um, and, and has specialized in this space and, and is really somebody that you can count on to, to kind of help scale your, scale your business.